Welcome to the Mayfield Stadium. It's the Bulls against the Rams. It's a little bit different weather-wise from Saturday, which was a blazing hot day in Springfield. Today, it's looking a little bit stormsy overhead, pardon the pun. Well, the Bulls last season managed to do the double over the Rams, a win at Springfield 2-1, the Rams having taken an early lead. And then here, about four or five months ago, towards the end of last season, a 2-0 victory. Final checks being made by Mr. Edgecombe today. Looks like the keepers are ready. We are certainly ready. And it will be the Bulls to kick off this game. A few in this evening as well watching, waiting to see if the new owner is here. But we're underway. Nobody shy here this evening. Oriogan now. Phillips plays it forward. Sutcliffe looks for the offside, nothing given. And here comes Pierrick into the box. Will he shoot? He does. Near post. Van der Vliet down well and holds on to it. Oh, that brings applause from the home faithful. This has got to be one of the most fast-paced starts we've seen from the Bulls this season. Here comes Bickley into the box. Will he shoot? He does. Good save by Brown. It ricochets off. Shot comes back in. And Brown with a double save. Well, earning his crust already off Shane Brown. Two quick saves there. The ball's close. Now Giles cuts inside as well, gets away from Ori Ogan. Jay Giles now plays the ball forward. Bickley is onside again. We'll hold it up. Across goes Vaughan. Looks for support. In it comes. In comes, well, oh, another save by Brown. Boateng now, looks like he's had a change of position. He's now drifting around. Shot comes from distance. Oh, good save by Van der Vliet. He just bounces in front of him. It's Vaughan, the skipper, who takes it on. And it bounces just in front of Ewan van der Vliet, who stays alive to it and gets down quickly. It's going to be a corner, though, to the Rams. And again, the Rams have it with Phillips. Oh, given away. Here comes Boyle. Can Boyle put it in? Well, he goes for the shot, it's Brown again, down to his left, one hand saves it. In the end, no real pace on that shot from Boyle, but again, good play by the Bulls. The mistake forced by Jack Boyle, and in the end, he just can't find the net, and Brown manages to keep the score level. Back come the Rams. Good pace here, here they come forward. Again, it's Pierrick and he's kept it well, but finally dispossessed. But he's got it back again somehow and it falls into the middle. Will the shot come? Well, the ball's body's everywhere. The shot comes and it's blocked. Well, it looked like in the middle that the shot that came in came from Clement Peters. But the Rams still ramping it up here. The Bulls have won it back now. Trotter. Tries to play it in. Leki Mamati is arriving. Can Leki Mamati... Is he pulled down? Well, nothing given, but it did look for a moment that Leki Mamati may have been an arm on him. He's gone down. Nothing is given. Bickley has it. Nothing coming from Leki Mamati, to be fair, so maybe he just lost his footing. And now Watson... Leki Mamati now plays it first time for Bickley. Can he get the shot off? He does. Oh, another save by O'Shane Brown. Outstretched left leg this time. Must be his fifth already of this first half. On fire this evening is O'Shane Brown. Come on, man. Well, 40 minutes of entertaining and exciting football here at the Mayfield Stadium. Both sides playing with a lot of... Oh, and given away now. Mistake by... Van der Vliet and rescued by himself first and then by Curtis and just as we're about to say how exciting and lively pace it's been and then maybe just Van der Vliet just who hasn't had the most to do has just drifted off a little bit there and nearly giving it away and nearly gifting in fact a chance to Pierrick and now Watson and here comes Trotter cuts inside well Trotter now plays it into the middle Bickley with a shot. Oh, he's hit the post. 
Well, it would take something to beat Brown this evening, and that one it does, but it rattles against the left-hand post. And still, the ball's unable to beat Oshane Brown in the Rams' goal. OK, now Lekim Amati has got into the box. Lekim Amati, can he cross it? He does. It, oh, it nearly falls for... Oh, Bickley in the middle there. Bulls get it back. Jay Giles now. Tries the shot. Oh, skimming past that post. Looks like it may well have taken a deflection. Mr Edgecombe has signaled for a corner. Going round in circles here as the triangle is played beautifully there by a combination of Pierrick, McCarthy and Tiorescu. But the Bulls have it. Bickley now. Bickley is going for. Will he take the shot on himself? Bickley now. Takes the shot. Save again by Brown. Well, it was just enough within his reach there to his left. And Brown gets two hands on it. It's going to break now for Boyle. Boyle now. Bickley stays on side. And then the overlap from Lacane. Lacane is getting forward. He's being tracked. He plays it first time. Well, it goes past everyone. Looks like, the, is, is it Vaughan there? Just to get there. The skipper does enough. And it goes there. It's going to be a corner, though. Now it's McCarthy in towards Clement Peters. Clement Peters still going, Clement Peters still going. Shot comes in, hits the back of Sutcliffe on the heel. Make him a Matty helping out. Shot comes in, Van der Vliet gets a hand to it and then gets the rebound. Well, it took a deflection and it was going goal bound. But Van der Vliet stays alert. Non clearance. Bickley will chase. And headed backwards and inwards and nearly dangerously towards Barlow. But now it has come to Bickley. Boyle again. Boyle now cuts inside, takes the shot. Boyle! Oh, well, that was a closer effort from Jack Boyle. Not far over the crossbar this time. And again, the balls go closer. Five minutes we have left. Of normal time. We'll see what Mr. Edgecombe adds. Watson now. Good ball. Giles with the overlap. Plays into the middle. It falls to Bickley. Great block there. This time looks like it's McCarthy or is it, it or Vaughan? It's Vaughan, the skipper. Redfern. Kamara. Trying to get it into the box. They do with far post. Phillips is there, but so is Lacane. And a goal kick follows. I think Matty makes the run. He gives and he goes. Sutcliffe now into Watson. Now Trotter. Trotter again outside to Lacane. Can Lacane take it on? Lacane now into the box. Lacane shoots. It's there. It's going to count. And it's Lorne Bickley at the far post with what must be the final kick of the game. If there's any time left at all, he gambles away. The Croydon defence hang their heads. They are absolutely out on their feet and probably with the last kick of the game, it's Lorne Bickley from the ball from Johnny Lacan. Great run by him into the box. He looks up, Bickley gambles. He is there and he forces it home. And our Shane Brown finally, after about 92 minutes of play, is beaten. It's AFC Croydon, the Rams nil. Jersey Bulls won. Mr Edgecombe, not yet. He's had a look again at the watch. Looks at the left. And when you see them, look at the two. At the moment, play carries on. Or Shane Brown. Well, Mr Edgecombe blows the whistle after 95 minutes nearly of an exciting, entertaining game here at the Mayfield Stadium in Croydon. The Bulls running out winners 1-0 in the end after a fine goalkeeping display from Shane Brown in the Rams' goal. He kept them at bay, the Bulls, for the first half. He managed to make a couple of saves in the second half, but in the end, a fine run by Johnny Lacane down the right, squaring it for Bickley, who doesn't make any mistake. Well, the Rams are a little bit dejected. They battled hard, but the Bulls win it on the road again. They win four in a row. They go again on Saturday. They will play Spellthorn Sports. And that will be a 12.30 kickoff with a live stream. We will see you next time.